In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a punch down on a 180 degree keystone ethernet jack so you can easily click all the wires in and get this thing going in your wall. In order to do this, you need a stripper. And this is the stripper I have. I'll put a link below to the one you probably want to get. But what you need to do, you can see the little blade in here, right there, where I'm putting the ethernet cable. This is Cat6 cable. And I just put it in there with maybe this much space hanging out. And I spin this around a few times. And then crack it and then simply keep prying until I get it off. You don't want to nick these inside wires at all, otherwise you're going to end up with a real problem because the cable will be damaged. The next step is to pry apart the four twisted pairs and then take your handy dandy wire snippers and simply snip off the divider and snip off the rip cord. The next thing you need to do is decide whether you're doing A or B type of termination. The five, I think it's 568. The B is more common than anything else. And the most important part is to be consistent in your network no matter what. Now, you'll see the different color codes on here. The blue, the orange, the green, the orange, the green, and the brown. I'm going to choose the B group, which is on the inside. So this is the white mixed with the blue for B, the white mixed with the orange for B, the green mixed with the white, or the white mixed with the green for B, and the brown mixed with the green for B. Unfortunately, the cable I have forces me to kind of twist the cables around in order to make this work. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my cable up so I'm going into the B slots. This is the blue. The green ends up being over here, so it's a little bit of an awkward swap between the two. And then the orange ends up all the way across. A little bit awkward, but it works. Okay, so there we go. Now the whole idea is that you want to main the twists, or keep the twists as consistent as possible. Let me tilt this up just a little bit. And what we're going to do is use the B termination. What I'm going to do is just kind of pry that off. If you don't have any fingernails, this is, can be a rather frustrating activity. Now, normally you would keep the twist in there, but there's no room. So I am going to spin it out, but it's only a few millimeters that it's untwisted. So I don't really worry about it. All my cables always test out just fine. So I'm going to put this in here, push this guy in here. It's easy to do if you've got fingernails. And now the same thing with the green. This is kind of tough when the cable is a little short. Is I'm going to I'm just going to pry that apart there. Twist it around. Now this is a test of your patience because this can get really, really frustrating. Okay, I'm going to push that in there, prep it with my fingernail. I'm going to use my punch down tool. There is the cutting edge and the smashing edge. And I never do this on a surface that I don't want to damage because I've had this flip on me and I've stabbed surfaces. So I've learned not to do that. All right, take your punch down tool, put it on the edge here, push it in there, and click. Good, and then we will get the blue cable in. I always like to make sure to get it nice and seated inside before I go, otherwise I end up kind of tweaking it out. It's a little frustrating. Okay, so far so good. All right, now theoretically these are supposed to cut, but they never seem to do, so that's why I'm going to use my uh, little wire snippers here in a moment. Okay. All right. 
and we will do the inside white, green. Sometimes it really gets stuck on there. And the outside solid green. Okay, so far so good. And then we simply proceed to do the same thing with the orange. Put the orange in this slot and the white orange or orange white over here. Same sort of thing. Okay. You can see what I've got going there. And then the brown is the white brown over here. And the white twisted brown over here. Now ideally, you want to twist this cable so it sits and those lines don't get near anywhere near each other. Sometimes that is a little bit difficult. But generally everything seems to work. Okay. So now we're ready for punch down number two. And I tend to do the outside punch down first so I don't damage the inside cable by doing, or damage the outside cable. All right. Because if I do the inside one, then I accidentally crimp the outside one, I have wrecked keystones. That's just my personal experience. We'll now punch this down here. Get this guy off. And the same thing in here. And there we go. Now you see, even though these are all supposed to fall off, some people just zip and crank them off. I just take my handy dandy snippers. Clip, 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 clip. That's faster than wiggling those darn wires. Much, much faster in fact. Clip, clip 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 and there you go that is how to punch down a 180 degree keystone ethernet jack cat 6 on the 568b standard and it looks uh, correct so there you go hopefully that's been helpful to you uh, please like and comment on the video and if you found it helpful subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching